problem 1.62 or 2.45 for both of the thermodynamic books. For information, please see the description below. A gas is contained in a vertical frictionless piston cylinder device. The piston has a mass of 3.2 kilograms and a cross-sectional area of 35 centimeters square. A compressed spring above the piston exerts a force of 150 newtons on the piston and it has an atmospheric pressure of 95 kilopascals. We need to determine the pressure inside of the cylinder. The list of the known values and what we're looking for is listed and the assumptions that we're going to use in this problem, once again we're going to assume that there is friction, that it, there is no friction, therefore it's a frictionless uh, system. And we also are going to assume that all the forces are acting on the vertical direction only. The first step in the problem will be to draw a free body diagram. So we're going to consider this to be the piston. And the forces that we have are the following. We got the atmospheric pressure, which is a distributed force. So what we're going to do is going to be P atmospheric. We have the pressure from inside. Once again, it's distributed. We're going to call it PI for inside. We also have the weight of the piston. And then we also have the force of the spring. Now let's call it that word because it's a compressive spring. We know that the summation of the forces in the y direction has to be equal to zero. Therefore, now let's add all the forces. Start with the distributed forces. We have atmospheric pressure, it's going uh, down, therefore it's negative, and to make it into a force, we multiply it by the cross-sectional area. So it's minus times the cross-sectional area. We have the other distributed um, force, which is PI, once again the cross-sectional area. We got minus the force of the spring, minus the weight, and that equals to zero. Then we solve for PI the inside pressure, and that is simply going to be the force of the spring, the weight, the atmospheric pressure, times the cross-sectional area, and we divide all this by A. So we substitute now the values. This is going to give us 150 newtons. The weight is going to be the mass of the piston, which is 3.2 kilograms and multiply it by gravitational acceleration. Then we have the um, value of the atmospheric pressure. And to keep the units consistent, we're gonna do it in pascals. So 10 to the three uh, pascals. And we multiply it by the area. And then that is 35 centimeters square. We need to convert it into meter square, which is one meter square. And we divide by 100 centimeters and make sure that this whole thing is square. Okay? So it's not 100, but it's 100 to the second power since we have centimeters square. And we take this whole thing and we divide it again by the cross sectional area 35 centimeters square. Once again, 1 meter square divided by 100 centimeters square the whole thing, the number and the unit. Once we multiply it out and we do a little bit of algebra, we find that the value of the pressure is equal to 146.826.28 pascals, or in kilopascals, we could approximate it to 147.8 kilopascals.